Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment expose. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from DMA in which he piss off a old city. All right, let's do this. So this is part two from the video yesterday. Enjoy. Turn on the news, dude. Someone's going berserk at the courthouse. Up next is Chris uh, Cordova here to address council. Chris, if you could just state your name and your address or cross streets. Oh shit. Here we go again. I don't know who is uh, the one that's responsible for the timer, but there was a lot of uh, inconsistencies last time. And I know you guys were talking about changing the rule, but to my knowledge, it's still that it should start after the speaker says their name and cross streets, or they just start their speech like I did. The first speaker last time, uh, their timer started 32 seconds after he said his name and address. And I know he had a thumb drive to plug in, but after he started his presentation, the timer started 17 seconds later. And my time actually started after Mayor uh, Sierra asked me to say my name and address. I didn't even speak yet and my timer got started. I think we need to be more consistent on that, guys. And Regan Benson and I lost the most time. I don't know if you know, you'd probably say oh, that wasn't intentional, but out of all the people that either gained or lost time, I mean, we got the biggest shaft, so. Mm, Chrissy Wami took a full minute to explain how someone lost five seconds, then proceeded to play the victim again, pretending that they had the biggest loss of a few seconds. I mean, this is so useful. Please continue. You're doing fantastic. But I would like to start by thanking the three ladies on my right. Miss Prang isn't here, but I would like to thank you ladies for uh, standing up to this bully over here. I know that takes a lot of courage to do. Um, and Ms. Prang, I know I was teasing you a little bit last time, so thank you. But I did a public records request on uh, Joe Anderson and Steve Ward and their emails because I wanted to see if there was anything that would link them to this troll channel. And um, there was no responsive records. So if that's true, that means, Joe Anderson, you're the one that reached out to them. And I say you because I'm pretty sure you're the ringleader, not Steve. And Steve, I'll be honest with you. I don't think you're an evil person. I really don't. I think that you have good intentions. I really do. I think you're misinformed and you make really poor decisions. And yeah, you piss me off a lot. But that's how I feel about this council. You guys are not as bad as Sheridan. I mean, that's not saying much because it doesn't take too much to be better than Sheridan, but you're not. Except for Joe Anderson, though. You'd fit right in with him. You are a very dark energy, low vibrational soul disguised as a pastor. Oh, you have a dark energy, low vibrational soul. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, who the F do you think you are? A small middle-aged man with a Napoleon and a victim complex, a whining brat who harasses and borders people for years to make enough money for your weed and a tiny dog. You delusional, self-indulgent, entitled tiny boy with nothing in your life other than a court case and the perspective of jail time. Hey there, pretty boy. You know what they call guys like you in prison? Sweet meat. Do you want to know where someone stands in life? Look at his entourage. And Chrissy, you have one hell of an entourage. Criminals, unhinged Karen, gray homeless Jesus, dead tooth moron. You have a dead tooth, you realize that, right? And I hate it, and it's annoying. <laughs> So stop thinking you're better than anyone and fuck off with you. And I came to that conclusion by that stupid smirk that's on your face right now. The same one that you had the entire time last time, right? Because you loved it. And I was thinking, why would he reach out to this troll channel? He knows it's going to get me back up here, but then it hit me. That's what you want, right? You love the attention. You love it. Because you're a narcissist. And narcissists love attention, whether it's good or bad. Hey, man, you're black. You are too. But that's also a narcissistic trait. You see, I don't provoke reactions. <laughs> it's not a lie if you believe it. I go and I peacefully record. And if somebody else is going to get irate and then blame me, that's called blame shifting. It's a narcissistic trait. Uh, Miss Lambert, she might suffer from that too. Are you serious? Ugh. And I don't even want to keep coming back here. Um, I know that's what you want, so hopefully I won't have to come back because you know, it's, it's very high stress to come here. It really is. Um, and like Ms. Prank said, now we're wasting how many tax dollars 
on all this extra security. We had four officers here last time. You're making a mockery of this city council, right? Not us, not Ms. Benson and I. You know, you and you, you guys are. And your colleagues see right through it. You're not fooling anyone. I don't think you're trying to fool anyone. You're just scumbag and you're happy about it. So I just wanted to put that on the record, you know, that we're not here to provoke a reaction, okay? A bullshit, a bullshit, a bullshit. And exercising your rights is not getting away with anything, Mr. Anderson. Chris, your five minutes are up. Any questions for Chris Cordova? Cena, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> now he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. What is wrong with him? I wanted to say that with the obvious clown show that's going on here, um, things that are going on that none of us want to spend time wasting our time listening to, uh, I thought that the two council members who decided to point out the ridiculousness of this were entirely warranted in doing so. It was completely appropriate. So, and, and also, especially when they made it very clear that they weren't speaking on behalf of city council um, when they were doing it. So, thank you for doing that, guys. And once upon a time, we never had to worry about people coming in from outside of the city who aren't part of us, and abusing this. And those deus guys are clearly behind us. This is obviously not what this is for, and yet here we are. So whether as individual members of the council you choose to just let, let it be beneath your notice and focus on other things, or whether you choose to speak to it, that's, that's up to each of you to decide how your gifts come together and, and how they work for that. But this you don't have to let anybody use this. You could limit it to Inglewood citizens and business owners. You're, you would be within your rights. You could do that, and I would encourage you to do it. Thank you for your time. And this is my old problem with that shit and why I start this channel. Over time, the government will create more limitations and more boundaries to avoid the scammer and the grifter, and frauditors are ruining it. For everyone. That's right. And I think that it, that is totally a valid approach is to um, is is to just say we're not going to engage with it, and that may may or may not on some occasions work to have something distasteful um, go away. I know that some have taken that advice. I haven't. Um, it's not. It's just not generally my approach. Is when um, when I see people that I respect. Um, within our city, staff, citizens, police, um, getting pushed around and um, in, within, uh, within doing, their, doing their jobs and they want somebody to respond to that. Um, I want to respond to that. So I took the opportunity to respond to that. There is a, uh, a little analogy from Chesterton I wanted to share you, with you all. He said, if a man comes along and pushes an old lady into traffic and another sees it and, um, and rushes in to put her out of the way, push her out of the way before another uh, she gets struck by oncoming by an oncoming car. It won't do to speak to, of them both as though they're the kind of people who shove old ladies around in traffic. Um, it's it's one thing to come to the city and create a stir. It's another thing to stand up to the people who do those things. And I do uh, enjoy exercising my First Amendment rights and. Um, would like to continue to exercise opportunities to do that. The goal of the First Amendment auditors is to create discomfort in the people that they're going after. And I wanted to show that that doesn't really work on me. And I think I've demonstrated that quite well. So um, thank you all for coming out. I understand different approaches to this, uh, but I do intend, to, I, do, I do stand behind my response. Ooh, and now the scandal. This is the amount the city would have spent on extra measure because of those two shower caps. 5G, baby. Even if any waste is a waste, the amount represents something like 0.0001% on the total city budget. Yeah, that's the impact you have, Christopher. And if it's too much for your energy and vibrational soul, well, just stop going there. And now listen to that shitty ending with some... Holocaust music to try to make his audience believe that something significant happened today.
even a like, freaking auditor. I know, that's God, I get saying. so sick of that. I know, I'm not. You're not an auditor. I did leave my other Chipotle out all night and had all that hot Chipotle sauce and Loaf scarfed it. Oh no. And he's fine. Oh jeez. So. Alright then. Okay, have, have a good one. You too. See ya. See ya. And that's how it ends with more stupidity and lies. I'm not even an editor. I'm not even an editor. We know that. What you are is a fraud editor. Someone who stirs some shit up. And that's what you both are. Instigators and shit disturbers at your best. All I saw in this video was a city and citizen tire of your BS and a mayor who chose to resist. Yeah, okay, these two civil war survivors gave a merit type of short speech at one point. There was nothing new, so I didn't include them. But other than that, you two morons are ready for a padded room and are deeply unwelcome in this city. Listen, listen to me carefully. You're an idiot <laughs> and a scammer. All right, enough with these clowns, my dear crazy baby and the red rabies, like they say in the Philippines. We're dying in a more. Shout out to the members, you're the reason why the sun shines every day. Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.